everybody, it's Jeff. Well, the world today is more crazy than what it's ever been. <laughs> um, Russia and Ukraine. Now, NATO and President Biden are putting or doing sanctions, and now, from my understanding, they're going to ban them or sanction them from the Swiss bank, which is cuts cuts off their money. Now, all the forces and everything he's been building up against uh, the Ukrainian border, and he's been thinking about doing this for. I don't know, a long time that I've been noticing from the news and everything for years. You know, since they've always had some kind of crisis going over there. I've seen some things uh, on YouTube earlier today talking about during USSR days and things like that. I don't know the whole full history of Russia and Ukraine. But with all the stuff going on, you have to think Putin, he knew all this was going to happen, the sanctions and how the world would react to him setting up and doing this and invading and going all the way to the capital, which they say is supposed to be there by this weekend or, you know, I like how they put time frames on things and how they know what dates are going to do this and do that. Kind of weird. But anyways, I mean, it's not like he, he didn't know all this was going to happen. How the world's going to cut him off from everything and how NATO's going to react and how Biden's going to react. I mean, could they have they stopped? Could they have they stopped this? Or did they want to stop it? I don't know. I mean, personally, I think they could have stopped all this. Could have nipped it right off the get go, and you know. But then again, would it start World War Three? I don't know. I think we're just one nudge from World War Three. But to get to uh, Putin on this whole Ukraine thing. He wasn't worried about sanctions because if he was worried about sanctions and cut, being cut off from the rest of the world, he wouldn't have done it. He's not worried about it. It's not stopping him. The more you throw at him, it just seems like the harder he hits. He's got an agenda. He's got a plan. He's fulfilling it. He's working on it. Now, knowing what's going on inside that man's head, I have no idea. I know he wants to... He don't want NATO in his backyard, so to speak. I mean, you can people got all kinds of opinions on what's going on and what's happening. All I know is it's just or just one more event away from World War Three. Anyways, and my concern right now is just trying to get things prepared for the next stage of all this I mean we still got China it just got over the Olympics all that stuff just happened so now and I seen um, a video earlier today or yesterday the defense minister of China or something like that telling uh, the Biden administration in the United States or whatever to stay um that Taiwan's it's theirs or it's one of their uh, provinces or something like that. Just stay out of stay away, stay out of it. But I don't know. It's a, that's another uh can of worms getting ready to open. Why I'm doing this video today and why I wanna talk is just it's time to start kicking in some more preps if you're not have been prepping or been prepping uh, time to kick it up a notch I'm trying my hardest to but right now with the way the shortages have been going on and it's kind of crazy some of the shortages I've seen is like canned biscuits 
There's not been none at the store. And if they do get something, they only limit you to two. Just, I've never seen that before in my whole entire life. I mean, I've seen toilet paper. Get shortages on that, but there was, I had a lot of uh, canned biscuits, so. You can find casual rolls. So. If you like biscuits, you better get used to learn how to make them. That's all I know. <laughs> in my stores where I'm living right now, the Myers and the Walmart and even uh, Aldi's didn't have canned biscuits. So that's crazy things. Just start stocking up on things. Get a little extra here and there. Hygiene products, you know, toothpaste, toothbrushes, soaps, hair soaps, you know. Things you're going to need for a long time, for long term. Uh, you never know. Anyways. Um, if you got, like, springtime's coming around the corner, get stuff to get ready for, to plant your garden. I plan on doing, now my garden turned out okay last year. It wasn't, it wasn't a success like I wanted it to be. So, you know, you learn as you go. But this, uh, spring and summer, I'm going to, uh, what they used to do during, like, World War II, they called them victory gardens. That's my plan this year to take my backyard Except for a small portion of it, as long as I don't, wife doesn't get too mad about it, is uh, put me a victory garden in, you know. See how good, how well I can, because you, you know, you can't get better at growing gardens if you don't do it. I mean, you got to keep learning. You learn as you go, you get better at it, so that way you, you know, the next time you do it, you can be more productive in your garden. So, if you haven't grown a garden, start learning how. If you have and it wasn't too successful, keep trying. You know, it's, you don't, if you fail, you don't learn unless you fail at something, you know, to get better at it. You learn what to do better next time around. And I think I did that this year. I mean, I may learn a bit more later on, but who knows. But anyways, I was thinking about the garden spring, just coming up this spring, and we're only like, a month away from spring or not even that now i think we're just like a few weeks away but for up here in the north we're about a month month and a half away from really planting season for us because of the frost and everything um in that meantime you get uh start getting the uh, preps for that uh, if you got you know your lawn equipment uh start you know you got your generators start getting your oil Spark plugs, you know, air, air filters for them. Get things to start tuning up all your gas equipment, all your equipment you got for this year. Um, if you if you have a tractor, you know, if you never change the oil in it, learn how. I mean, you start getting prepared for your maintenance, your springtime maintenance. Start gathering up... Uh, all the stuff you can now before the prices get way too high. My project this year was to start repairing my garage and start doing some updates to it and do a facelift on it. But I was going to do it last summer, but the prices of wood got too high and couldn't really afford to do it. Now I'm back in the same boat again where I can't afford again this year. So hopefully, if it works out the word, you know, maybe some, I don't know, maybe the lumber prices may come down. I don't know. But anyways, I have a plan. I'm trying to execute it in the next month or so. I'm still working. I work in a manufacturing company, a stamping plant. We make parts for uh, mostly for GM right now for another company. Um, right now we're on a slow. We're running off when it comes to production and stuff. So I am the automotive industry it's there but it's being really quiet in production which we still got the chip shortages um who knows there's things across the world it's going to be kind of shortages with this war going on over in ukraine and we don't know what's going to happen after that i mean who knows what china's going to do and because china's i guess i seen a news report a little bit ago but Working with the Middle East, making uh, deals with those guys, especially with the Afghans and, or not the Afghans, but the Taliban and stuff. We're not, we're just getting over a pandemic. And 
they're dropping on mandates and stuff, which is surprisingly, I don't know. Like, whatever. We all know about it. I'm sick of talking about that. I'm not going to. Anyways, so we're getting out of that fiasco, and we're getting to this new fiasco or world conflicts and stuff. I mean, you never seem to see a decade without some kind of conflict going on between who knows, or Russia, or Afghans, or it seems we can't get away from war or some kind of conflict going on. So, I don't know. I suggest to start praying some more that cooler heads will prevail. My faith in the leaders or the people who are supposed to be representatives of us to the world I have no confidence in them no more. Um, Big Money is ruler of the world now. And especially when it comes to resources like gas and oil. So my thing is this. We're heading to dangerous times. I mean, the stock market's a joke. I mean, one day it's down 800 points, then it's, oh, it comes back and everything's fine. That's scary enough as it is. So my suggestion to everybody is come up with a plan. Let's be prepared for... Because we we don't know what's going to happen in this world right now. It's too unexpected. It's too many F's in, the, in there. So, I don't know, I'm making this video just, just get some stuff off my, you know, off my chest and off, you know, and some thoughts out to where, if you're not thought of this, or, you know, you're sitting there watching this, or you're watching other YouTubers out there, it's time to get, it's getting... To me, it feels like the world's getting scary, and our kids got to live in this world. And I just, I pray for a better outcome, or, you know, just got to start praying for it all. You know, just, hopefully everything, uh, just turn around and people start learning how to start living better with one another and just learn from our differences and start making each other better. So on that note, just everybody, if you watch this, say a prayer for uh, Ukraine and all of them over there and in the, in the European nations, countries. And actually pray for Putin to give him a, um, give him a heart, you know. And I'll pray for him to change his heart. A lot of people are mad at him right now. And uh, I say he's the one you need to pray the most for. Because maybe he can pray enough to where God can touch his heart and change his mind. I don't know. Pray for all the giants. Maybe one day we can just live in a world of total peace. This is Jeff Waverly's Preps. You guys take care and have a good evening. And uh, God bless and pray for the world.